Hey everyone, this is Uthris and welcome back to Let's Build Lothaloria, episode 44. So last episode, we went ahead and built one of the um, new professions. It's a stonemason. And with some suggestions, I went ahead and made it look like they were working on a new king statue uh, for maybe the crypt or just somewhere in the kingdom that would need to be built. I tried breaking it and copying it, but once it's broken, you can't use copy and paste on this item. Um, don't know why, but uh, I think this is a good in-between kind of compromise. And I really like it. Also built some type of pulley. It's not really a crane like normal. This one, you would just kind of throw a rope over here and use that as just an extra uh, source of leverage to lift things on and off. Um, let's see, I was also working over here, uh, flattening out the land and getting that ready and testing this chute for when the quarry is actually operational. And I threw one of the larger carts at the bottom here. And basically it, it works fairly well. You can just drop a few stones down here and it would roll right in. I had to make a modification to actually make it, you know, short enough to where the stones would actually go over there, but uh, I think it works really well. Kind of a proof of con concept, I uh, think. So what else have I been doing? I made a small uh, tower, wooden tower over here near the thief and that's mainly because since this fort's under construction again and being repaired they went ahead and constructed a wooden tower uh, would, it's much quicker to build one of these than to get all the stone ready for that so that's why they have one of these over in this direction and it kind of follows the motif of you know having one tower um, at each main location so that's pretty cool I think kind of brings the whole Lothlorien theme throughout the build um, everywhere. And I went ahead and made a rotor to at least get this water wheel spinning. Um, I buried it underground, you guys can't see it, it's just kind of working behind the scenes. It's not really supposed to be working, but uh, you know, it just adds a little extra movement in the outskirts which looks pretty nice. I don't think anyone has ever noticed this yet, but uh, I crashed a catapult here a while ago, trying to push it down the hill. And I actually really like it. Maybe when water is added, it'll be a nice little remnant of war, which will be cool. Um, due to another suggestion we had, I have started working on kind of a ruined old wall that used to go through the valley here. Um, I guess people wanted to call it the old King's Wall. And it basically stretches from this end over to there. And it just, you know, just, uh, just a bunch of ruins that's just left over from an old kingdom. I mean, it would probably be even older than the actual uh, fort here in terms of lore. If there's this place even has a lore, I don't, I don't know. Um, well, I'm just building what you guys tell me to build. I think that about sums up what I did off camera. Can't think of anything else. Maybe some minor train sculpting here and there. So, hope you guys like that new stuff. Over here, we are going to start working on probably the. I don't know really what to call this. This would be like the the head, maybe Duke. Um, basically the guy that oversees the outskirts and acts as a, as, a, as a basic lord and governing faction. I mean, he still reports to the king, but he he has basic control over this, this basic area. And so we'll, we'll start working on this today. I don't know how far we'll get on it. Um, there's going to be some train sculpting we have to do, maybe, to make it all work. I don't think that'll be too bad. Might make it multi-leveled. That way it, uh, 
might be pretty cool. A little bit more dynamic than than normal. So maybe something like this setup. So you have kind of a winding building and then maybe a small courtyard uh, to get up into this upper area. Maybe even a what do I want to call this? Uh, a dining hall, I guess. Over here, this wing. I'm just trying to do do a little bit more of a interesting shape than just a square, a set square. You know, um, I feel like all my buildings have started to look fairly similar, and that's never good to have. So this is my fix at the moment. Let's see. Maybe even call this some kind of oh villa. I guess is a is a good term for this type of building. I guess it will have uh, some minor battlements. You know, it's a little bit of a defensive uh, position up on the hill. It definitely is. You know, it can't deter a whole army by any means. But it will definitely buy time while a message goes over to the king and maybe some reinforcements can get there. Oh, come on. Please. No. Oh. Well, okay. I can put steps there. Whatever. Not a big deal. Like that. Ooh, the entrance will be in here. So you have two entrances. We'll have a actual, I think a wooden staircase up to this area and then an entrance over here for this lower building. That might be cool. We can go ahead and round that. Something a little different than normal, at least. Maybe even start the building there rather than back one square. Put a window there and here, just to keep an eye on things. A little nook there. Then we'll use an old trick for this end of the building here. We'll uh, we'll round it off like we did the first basic church. If I can just place these. When your foundation is really low like this, it can be quite the pain. And I'm sorry for all the flashing. It's probably bugging you guys. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's definitely a little bit of a compound type structure. Pretty interesting, I think. <laughs> it will be a uh, multi story, which will be nice. I think this section will just be a single story area and then this will be multi-story and then this one will be multi-story that we have kind of a, a two-story one story two story connected together it might look pretty interesting or it could look terrible kind of don't know until you build it let's see can i get through here fairly nice no i think that's just uh the wall piece that was stuck there I don't need pillars. There we go. Okay. I think that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and seal off the outer walls, connecting everything.
trying to think of how I want to do this section. Hmm. Maybe. No. Maybe a block will just work the best in this situation. Staircase up will probably be connected to, the, to which area? Move the window over here. That way the staircase can start here and wrap up. And we can put a door here and there. And I put it across. So this is kind of the conjoining hallway. Larger dining room. I think I want windows. Just to make the space look nice and open from the inside. That'll look pretty cool. Another window there. Okay. Nice and nice. And I think I need a wall there for later. So that's what we're looking at there. And for here, we'll do I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna try and get as many rooms in this thing as possible. And then on this end, that'll be the staircase up to the next floor. That's definitely pretty grand, I think. That's pretty nice. Let's see. Then I'm gonna get rid of that battlement and use one of these taller ones for this section here. If it'll let me place it. Sometimes they're just a little finicky, like uh, it's looking for a block to be placed on rather than a ground tile or ground voxel so sometimes things just don't work out quite as planned and we'll probably put a couple maybe one or two houses near this place as well and this area here will probably need a few small shacks for when the workers um, when it when it's warm enough to actually come work in the quarry, they'll probably come over here and they'll probably do certain shifts. Like maybe a person might work for a week here and then get a week off. That's kind of a modern term. Thinking about it, I mean, like they would probably be working just about every day. Hmm. Either way, this place needs some shacks. Might kind of work that up into the back valley here. I don't want to encroach too much on the tournament grounds. Um, just we don't we don't want to take away from the nice uh, clean look we have over here. And even here, it still needs some work. Uh, I might try and build up a little bit more of a an edge from the castle from not the castle the 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 mountain come down here into the valley just a little bit more that way you block off the ugly quarry from this viewpoint and you can keep that nice and clean right got to keep building so just head on back over here for episode 50 um, I'll probably get to do a walk through of the whole thing It'll probably run a little long. I'm actually gonna probably just walk all the main roads. Might not go into every building, but most of the buildings. Um, and 48 and 49 might end up being kind of a detail episode where I'm just kind of running around, throwing details everywhere to finish things up. 
that I left a little unfinished. Maybe not the mine, because I like to procrastinate on that thing, so. Like, it's not gonna be this, like, grand, awesome mine. It's not, it's, it's no Mines of Moria, so. I mean, it's just a basic gathering place. Um, don't expect anything, like, grand. It might just have a single minecart, you know. I don't want people to be all disappointed about how the mind is a little lackluster. This will probably have rocks showing through later, so I'll leave that for now. And we'll just go ahead and start working on the second floor. I need to grab a wooden floor so we can mark off our area. Oh, need to put a wall. Actually, staircase first. Then I'll know where to put the wall. I don't think you can actually use this like that. New. No. So we'll have to get rid of that wooden tile and the door to make that functional and move the door over one so that we can clear the top of the stairs Is there any specific wooden tile that I could use to kind of that a little bit better? Not bad. Maybe over here is just kind of a closet area. Having the windows on this side at all. This side will put a window. And let's put two there. Where's the window on this side? It's on that corner, so we can offset it. Lining up. That looks okay. First floor is going to have the classic wooden roof, and then the second floor, red style roof. Haven't had a red tile roof in a while. It'll be nice to get some color out here. And let's see, going on 19 minutes. So I think I'm going to have to end up calling this episode here, and we'll go ahead and finish this up first thing in tomorrow's video hope you guys are enjoying it and hope you guys like the new kind of uh, building that we're making here it's definitely different than most it's kind of a mash of of the alchemist hut plus some other large I guess uh, not manor houses per se but just normal houses thrown together if you're enjoying the content feel free to subscribe Leave a comment down below on what you want to be built next or changes to be made. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.